where we're going. Back in your lives, in your ears and in your face. Welcome to another episode of Papa G's House. I felt like I needed to do that with a little bit of gusto because I haven't done that the last couple of episodes. Mm-hmm. You should you should do that for like movies. Yeah. <laughs> Tonight. One night. What is yeah. gusto? Oh, one man. Is that one stuff design. that you put in your pasta? Uh, uh, yeah. It's not pesto. I know, wait, that's good. Uh, I don't yeah, know that's well, weird. No, yeah. for sure. One man. But to the listeners, welcome back that's to good. another episode of Papa G's House, episode 25. And I'm joined by two of my bestest friends in the whole wide world. hey oh, hey How do we get onto that list? As you guys know, Mr. Granny J, Jared's World, J Rad, the whole bang shoot. And then we've got the first First time, timer. I the can't first believe it. First timer. Matt Holly. M- Mr. Scallywag himself. The, Mr. Mr. Scallywag. Mr. Scallywag, Mr. Hollies and Hellies, Mr. Design Bar Collective, Mr. Multi Talented. He plays a guitar. He sold a dime slime and didn't know the value of it. Yeah, no, I don't wow. know. Idiot. 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 But well, anyway, dude. A couple of grand off it. So that was yeah, yeah, yeah. But, dude, thank you so much for joining and. You were a little Thank bit like me. apprehensive. You're like, oh, I don't know what to do. But yeah. you've been pushing me since the beginning yeah. to do this vibe. And you've, you were actually the first person to buy my first LED set. Yes. What you see behind you. Um, you've given me tips and tricks uh, with lighting and all that kind of stuff. So I really appreciate you, you coming on, dude. Pleasure, dude. Thank and you. also, me he makes killer chili he's sauce. He's designing oh, my sorry. kitchen. Oh. And what? He, doesn't, he doesn't know it yet. Uh, oh, but I've been doing that for like three years already. So I don't know when, <laughs> when you're actually going to push the Jeez, button. So I'm looking forward sure. to this no, amazing absolutely. kitchen then. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Three no, years. totally. Listen, and your mom's and, kitchen. And, 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 yeah, and my kitchen. mother has said to me that, my mom said to me that, um, can I please organize a date for you to... Ooh, your mother wants a date with Matt. To go check out <laughs> the oh, house. Okay. Anytime. Check. And uh, <laughs> I, I said, yeah, just give me a date. She said, no, message him and he can tell me when he can come. So I said, no, just give me a date and he can come. And we haven't done that yet. So let's solidify a date now where you cool. can go check it out. <laughs> or later. Yeah, I was like, not <laughs> right later. now. Or later. Um, but uh, yeah, dude, Keen. helicopter pilot as well. Mm-hmm. Oh. But uh, yeah, dude, it's super cool to, to have, you, have you here, dude. And, and that's why when you see you every two weeks or th- three months or... Yeah, yeah, but you've never been on, been on the pod, and you've always been an advocate and enjoyed absolutely the the evolution. Like you were saying to me earlier, um, you were saying, "I've seen this room evolve. I had housemates in here. Yeah, um, you've slept in this room before. Um, you've known like a number of housemates that have come and gone in here now. Did she even lived in this house for a little bit? Yeah, did you? I've just. How long did you live here for? What, with you when I first moved here? I think yeah. it was about three months. So not very long. Was that but long? Too long, I think eh? before that, I used to yeah, come down every now Yeah, but you've been here for three years, been, right? Absolutely, yeah. So I set, yeah. The, I set the foundation. You definitely did. <laughs> but even before, but even before that, I mean, we, I used to come down here, what, every two months or three months to come and visit or twice a year or whatever it was. Yeah, and I'm we used just to just go and watch all the gigs and bands. and Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, just, you and really I have a mutual come friend, down here, yeah. Tandy. And, yes. And... Um, and Megs and the the whole crew and they we, we like the whole Joburg first uh, Cape Town vibe came together and and that's how we met and yes it, how long has it been? It's about seven years now. Eh? I think it's nine. What? Yeah. Serious. Eight or nine years? I think it's on the eighth year now. Jeez, or moving on to the ninth year. Yeah, definitely. When you had long, dude. Did dude, you know when I you looked like a proper career. Bushman, dude. I looked like a proper Bushman. <laughs> so it sounds, more like, sounds more like you look like Fabio. It's like big. Yeah. No, but it was no, super it was curly. It was, uh, you won't even recognize me. I think I've got it on my driver's license, actually. I must pull that out somewhere. But <laughs> oh, definitely gonna how I've later. evolved as well with this house. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, we've had many a good time here as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, when you used to come down from Joburg and stuff like that, we used to have a few rages. Well, that's when I met you, when you came down to watch their band. Or well, it wasn't just to watch their band, but I met hey, you Mercury listen, show. the 5th of November, the 7th, the 5th, the 7th 10. of November, 2015, he flew down 
specifically oh, for yeah, that show. Yeah, that was when I yeah, met yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she actually did fly that down for their show. Yeah. Oh, okay, well, there we go. I took no, my it was always back. just an avid supporter was that, of your music. Was that the man. first time cool. you met him? Yeah, I remember meeting him with you yes. at Mercury. Okay. Because yeah. okay. we yeah. weren't friends. We 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 were, we went we hadn't met officially when he came down to you came down to I think our Atlantic South second show ever, and that's when the yes. jugs were being handed out. The yes, um, yes, 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 cocktail things. Yeah, jeez, that nice. and then oh yeah, God. that that ended up in a in a <laughs> pile of mess. Mm. I'm surprised you guys remember that. I don't remember. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm well, remember, now. I only start getting going once my set's finished, yeah. and that's about like 12 o'clock at night. So everybody's had a massive head start, and I'm playing catch up. <laughs> but uh, good times. we still dude. around. I actually don't even know how we're still around because we've just. We've been, had some good times, we've had some, we've some, had some, some good times. Proper rages has been at insane. The spot, yeah. It's been absolutely insane. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Um, but. I live in Cape Town. J Rad. What up? J Rad. What's what's been happening on your side, bro? How's how's life treating you? Anything special we can uh, recap from the last week that we haven't seen each other? Um, no, I think it's just life is just keep going. Work's happening. Lots yeah, of so planning. Yeah, so. uh, yeah, all the wedding planning happening. Yeah, um, it's oh, but getting loads of time. Loads yeah, of time. Only, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like six, six weeks. Yeah, like five weeks. <laughs> and that's tons of time. So six right. weeks, and this man is weird. Yeah, it's crazy. Hitched. Um, yeah. So I mean, a lot of that's happening in our time apart from work. Um, but yeah, everything's going smoothly as far as I know. We'll find out on the day. <laughs> yeah, you'll find out on the day. <laughs> Listen, as you know, if you need Just any help, up. I'm right here, brother. Yeah, yeah. Um, should we get into our, our order of the day? Let's do it. As, uh, for the listeners, obviously Matt's joining and we're doing a usual uh, Jared and uh, Gareth podcast here and our usual format. So we've gone through our recent happenings. Um, wait, I had I did have one some, something that I wanted to say earlier and, and it's escaped me. I can't, rem- I can't remember. But anyway, maybe it'll, I'll... I'll um, Remember it in a few No, minutes. but this is the point for you to say it now. If you don't say it now, it's gone. So, sorry, sorry. Yeah. You can't come back to the section. It'll come back. It'll come back. Damn it. Man. It will, can come back, but Why? you can't come back who's to the enforcing, section. Who's mm. enforcing these rules? Is it you? Yeah. Mm. Who edits this thing? Me. Okay, well, then you decide. Uh. No, but I... <laughs> oh, okay. I listen yeah, to, to the boss. Yeah. yeah. We'll see. All right. The boss speaks. Okay. So you listen. <laughs> Mr. Ronenberg. Yes. New music. Have you heard any new music? Um, I actually have. Um, it's. I don't think they're a new band, but it's. Uh, I found it through Jared Dines. Does um, he's got his partner in crime, who I think he actually lives with as well in America. Oh um, yeah, yeah, I know Austin that he's got, Dickey, yes. Yeah. It's quite um, a good vocalist, that guy. Very good vocalist. So his band, I think, is called. I will pull up the name right now because I had to type it down um oh for the likes of for the likes of you okay i think they were called something else prior to that as far as i know it's the same band but um deathcore with some clean kind of like metalcore but who's singing him so he does all the screaming and i think their bassist or guitarist does the clean vocals not the greatest clean vocals, but um, <laughs> Austin's... What's the band? Scream. Did you just say it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, for the likes of you. Okay. For the likes of you. And okay, so yeah, I mean, his vocals are insane. I mean, he's got some the serious... The Austin dude. Yeah, yeah. Austin. His gra- graph vocals. He right? is... Because it might be him singing as well. No, it's not. I've seen live sure? footage, yeah. Okay. Um, and I've even seen some shows where even um, Jared Dines like, pitches up and does some vocals and stuff. And Jared Dines actually is... I mean, not only a good guitarist, a good drummer, a good vocalist. I mean, he just does everything. He's a personality. Yes. He's an all-round talent. Dude, dude. he is You know so Jared Dines is, eh? No. No, you don't. No, it's it's Gareth's does... lookalike. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. A lot of people say that yeah. I look like him, eh? Yeah. Or maybe he looks like me. Yeah, but well, you know me, I'm useless when it comes to that. I'm just, I like that song or that band, but I just, I don't know a guy's names. It's the worst. It's actually yeah, the worst, but yeah. I just... Well, Basically, I a, he's a YouTuber that's a metalhead. Why do you think that okay. is, dude? Why do you think you can't remember people's names? Because this is something oh. that you've... you've uh, I don't know. It's almost it's like just, an illness. 
No, fuck. Don't even say it's an illness. I don't want to know. It's Dude, I'm in the same boat as you. I mean, it's... I, I, I don't know. I just think you... Didn't you hear the humor in my voice when I said that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You, yeah but yeah, I think yeah, you're yeah. one of those people who, you know, you, you really get involved in the band that you like. And this is something I've always known about you is that you would always be the kind of person I could come to and say, oh, you know this band? And then... Oh, geez, what was that other band? Um... See, I don't even remember band names, yeah, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, yeah. I, just, I like that song, or I like this genre, or I go through that, and I just, you know, I'm a, I'm a definite Spotify playlister. I'll just let Spotify decide what I'm listening to. But you've always been the guy that I could come to and say, oh, this band, and then you'd tell me a whole bunch of trivia about it. So this yeah, is, I I'm a bit weird that Another, way. you know, reason why I thought this sort of avenue would definitely work for you, because you're so interested in, in the facts, whereas I just let things pass by, and I just, oh, I like that, or I, I'm your, you know, I'm your, the, I'm your little... Uh, Information hundred percent info hub. But yeah. I'm also, I've, yeah. I've got Biography. the same thing as you. It's like if I meet someone, the name will go straight in, straight out. Oh, that's weird, eh? The I like my top about. bands that I love, I I can tell you everything about the band. Ask me the name of the song, I'll go, I can't tell you what song that is. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah I just yeah. can't like names just do not stick in my brain. Yeah. I'll, I'll I'll even have to go back into Spotify and look at my last played and say, Oh, it was that band. Yeah. It's bizarre. But do you ever it's do bizarre. that? That's a good that's no. a good thing. Exactly. <laughs> no. You don't ever do that. So no. you kind of you hear a great song mm. and that's the worry for me, like Spotify playlists. I mean, jeez, uh, I must say we have been using the Spotify playlists quite often yeah. when we get together and have like little briars and stuff. And there's so much good music that I I always play the same uh playlist on spotify but sometimes that song actually doesn't reappear yeah mm. because they constantly change it and then you've and you can't find the song ever 100%. again and it's now such it's like finding a needle in a fucking yeah. haystack dude 100 percent. there was 100%. that one band that we heard once here and i remember both of us looked at each other and, and we were, were like, like Fuck, this who is the good. hell is this and you wrote it down mm. and we still don't know who that band was <laughs> well, why, no why did i write it down and you wrote it down on your phone and i even remember asking you and you were like, dude, I can't find the name of that band that we found. But they were awesome and just don't I know. did recently change my notes app. I don't use notes anymore on the, the you know, the, uh, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. you get, when you get a phone, be it whatever phone you get, you always get a notes app. Mm. Now I've started using Google Keep. And mm. Google Keep, everyone, if you're using notes, use Google Keep, baby. Yeah. It's really yeah, cool. And it, it's a clock. Uh, what? I haven't used Keep. It 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 works across all platforms. <laughs> That's why I think Google rules all, bro. Mm. Yeah. But no, anyway, what, you, what were you gonna you say, dude? No, I was gonna say you. just no, no, no. There wasn't. I was just going back to the music thing. But um, I remember Dayshell. That was one of the bands where you told me about, and that yes. was just some epic band. That was that was really when I realized that you know everything about it. How you go into these bands, and but I've realized what I do is I'll listen to a band that I like and I'll kill it, and then yeah. I won't go back to it, and then. Yeah. You know, there's the few. There's the five, the six, or seven bands that just stick with me all the time, and I keep going back to. But, jeez, I'll just kill music until I can't listen to it. Anymore. I think that's exactly everyone, though. Yeah, and it's yeah, and then I yeah. just go through genre changes. Yeah. I mean, there'll be days where I just I just don't want to listen to metal. But speaking, I mean, you actually took my whole um, half of my new music section. Oh, well done, yeah. bro. Well yeah, done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My new music section was uh, Deshaul. They've really? released a new album called Mr. Pain. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, okay, that's, cool. Are we going to well, speak about that album? Well, yeah, I don't well, know. Yes, yes, we okay. are. Because I don't think... I think it's great. I think Shaley has a very specific sound and he's got a very adored and loved voice. Yeah, in, that voice is scene, actually right? amazing. I mean, come on. Who... Listening to this has heard Second and Sebring by Of Mice yeah. and Men. Just one of the most beautiful yeah. songs, hard uh, metalcore songs yeah. that you will hear. Um, and Definitely a favorite. Then he goes on to write The Flood. Mm. And it's no secret that him and uh, Phil, the other guitarist, were the main songwriters in that album. And it was beautiful. And It was an amazing album, way. yeah. <laughs> uh, no, no, that's actually a second in, Se uh, second in Sebring. Mm. It's like a bloody tongue twister, that yeah, Sebring. Um, and then they wrote The Flood, OG Loco. Yeah, yeah. That was the song like, I think that got us all into. Yeah, you know. dude. I mean, it's a, it was the first, second song yeah. after the intro um, on that album. And I was like, this dude's voice is incredible. I'll be a little bit processed, you know, very, yeah, of course. you know, 
but he's got a, this tone that nobody can re- yeah. recreate. And then he left and went and did Dayshell. And it seems Dayshell, it's his middle name, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't even know that. There we what, go. Dayshell? Yeah, yeah, I think it's French or something to that effect. I don't, you French, let me know if that's a word. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, oui. Yeah. Oui, 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 so, oui, but then, oui, he, oui. then he wrote this amazing Dishel. album with these two dudes. I um, can't remember the names. It was a Spanish dude on drums and then another guy that he had uh, been friends with for many years and all that kind of stuff, but it was really good. And then now... And then they released Nexus with a completely new lineup. See, I didn't even know that. Yeah, so uh, basically it's what him. What of Mice and Men is Nexus? Every single album he's no, written no, no. has Deja. been oh, with Deja. a completely different group yeah. of people. Yeah. And that makes me wonder, is he too much of a control freak or... See, I didn't even know that. Is he hard to deal with? No, every single album that Dashiell and of Mice and Men has recorded has been with a set of different members. That's a statistic that a lot but of people I don't think take into consideration. Not of mice and men, though. Yeah, really. But when yeah. did he leave of mice and men? Because I remember after the to, flood. Because I saw yeah. them in 2015 in oh, the sorry. states. No, yeah, that was weird. A little bit, but, but Austin was still in the band then, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah, and no, she's Austin what a was show. I mean, in the just, band for quite a few sound. years. That was that was the show when you told me that the lead singer I think was um, had to go off stage because he, he had Marfan's on, yeah, disease. Yeah, he kept on having yeah. that. Uh, Marfan's disease. Why, yeah, no, but yeah, he insane. he uh, Austin Carlisle said in the band for quite a few must have been at least two years before um, after the bassist left. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Uh, Austin was, was definitely uh, in there for a while. Austin was there all the way up until restoring force, yeah. and then after restoring force was the new. I don't even know what the new album's called. I think it was called Defy. It, I think it is called Defy, but and it's then, also then there's a reason we don't new know the name. album, which we might as well talk about, is called Earth and Sky, I think it's called. Yeah. So Dayshall click, click, and... Boom. Dayshall and... Um, of of Mice and, Mice and, Men. and Men have both released brand new albums. Let's talk about Click, Click, Boom. And Defy. <laughs> click, <laughs> Click, Boom. That was Saliva. No, no, I'm talking day. about... Um, Ill uh, System. Uh uh, of Mice and Men's new song with that. Oh, uh, Mushroom click. Cloud. Oh, yeah, Philip. Yeah, no, that was just a f- complete fail. Yeah, awesome <laughs> it was a big fail. Um, what, what, what are we talking about? Oh, of Mice and Men. Sorry, I don't have the trusty tablet uh, because my yes. phone's faster. <laughs> and also someone forgot now, to charge it. Like my, like that. Hey, what's that? I don't know. Did you forget to charge it? No, no, no. I don't believe you can. If I go over there, can I switch it on? Earth and Sky. Uh, Earth and Sky is the new album. Can change of topic. Yeah, exactly. Earth and Sky. Boom. That's the new of Mice and Men album. Haven't even given it a listen. But Dayshaw and Mr. Payne, I've listened to it. I'm yet to decide. I know they went indie, so I think the production's taken a bit of a hit. Yeah, I, d- yeah. I didn't. I mean, we had a good listen a couple of days ago. A couple maybe of days ago. Yeah. yeah. And the first song, I think it was the first song, was amazing. We got so excited and it just... I think it was pressure. That yeah, was it bombed the top after music. that. Yeah. Because I must uh, say, just Dayshell is one of those bands that, you know, like saying like before, you know, you overkill it or you listen to it too much. But I just, if I hear his voice now, I just think all the songs sound the same. Yeah. You know, and then you get that, he has yeah. that similar chorus and, you know, they just sort of... He's got a very, he's got a very... Um, it's a very distinct voice. Distinct, it, unique it also voice. Becomes no, but I also think, you, I think you're talking <laughs> about his writing formula. Mm. You think it's the same, it's like the verse, bridge, chorus. Mm. Intro, breakdown, verse, bridge, chorus, kind of... Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but I don't. But I, don't, I kind sort of, of disagree with done. that in a certain way because, really? yeah, oh no. I mean, well, according I think, to this I think new what album, you, I think what you're trying to say is is the he's got just such a recognizable voice and he hits certain notes that are very um, across the board. Yeah. Sure, like you'll find that note that he hits mm. that because that's always a sweet spot. It's, mm. He's playing yeah. to his strengths as far as I, I'm concerned. Yeah. I mean, it's but basically, he's singing in the key that he's used to. Yeah. And yeah. Very well, no, he's with. not. Well, no, not, he's not. But it's because like he's, he's being got pushed the, by auto Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I'm saying he's also keeping that same melody constantly yeah. throughout. Like mm. his voice is doing that same kind of yeah. melodic, which is beautiful, but it's very similar throughout. It's all the songs. way. I, I which love is the way most he bends bands do it, anyway. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and it's his vibrato as well. That, that mm. it, like, have you ever listen? Let's just. 
crack this little rabbit hole before we move on because I've got another album that I want to talk about. Um, but Post Malone, right? Have you listened to a lot of Post Malone? He's just no, a, he's I wouldn't say okay, a lot, okay, but I've definitely I've know a lot. To a shoot load of it because I, I, I like it. I try to avoid mm. Post Malone. I like, like it. The plague and AIDS. Sheepers, <laughs> creepers. <laughs> I actually like it, dude. And he's also released a new song with Ozzy Osbourne. Um, not that new, but yeah, it's newish. Wow. Yeah. It's really good. I yeah. like it. It's a very Aussie kind of. Going uh, yeah, you know, vibe. I mean, that's a whole nother conversation. <laughs> yeah, but we can get into it anyway. I just wanted to say that um, there's a certain cadence he has to his voice where there's a lot of quiver yeah. you know, in certain parts. And is that natural or is that processed? Because he's had it right throughout. He So I think also a lot of people don't know, or I think maybe a lot of people do know, but uh, he is a guitarist and mm. a bloody good guitarist. And he also, auditioned for Crown the Empire. Yeah, so he is a metal, he's a metal yeah. guy through and through. But isn't like, like didn't he try and, uh, a whole number of things before he actually ended up here? I mean, I, what, didn't he start Where's a band or didn't he? Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, then, <laughs> no, um, so I, don't know, I know, like, he was yeah, or in the situation that we yeah, stuck yeah, with yeah. at the moment. I know he was very musical. He just made a good, situation. he made an uh, uh, executive decision, I think. Yeah. Mm. So, like, I'm not going to really make that much money in that genre. Yeah. Mm. Let's see if I can go mainstream. I think it, like, uh, so I, I remember watching a semi documentary. It wasn't like a full documentary, but he, it, it wasn't a joke, but he kind of wrote this thing as, kind of having fun and just writing this kind of what he plays now compared to his metal background and people just loved it and took off and he was like well you know why not there it is and like yeah. it's, I'm not saying that he doesn't enjoy what he does didn't but he it's do just a cover? didn't he do an acoustic cover of like a Nirvana song or something and then they were like holy shit this kid's good or yeah. whatever but I mean I, I remember in that documentary even at uh, in high school because like he wasn't good at school and stuff but you, you, yeah, but you speak to, uh, they had interviewed like people that were at school with him and they always say like, that guy was so musical, like always playing his guitar, always just singing. And like, it was always acoustic and just jamming and singing. And so it was always there and something was going to come out of it. And that's what came out of it, which Did is Did he get a amazing. terrible tattoo at every failed attempt that he <laughs> did? Because you know, <laughs> he has it's got a lot of times. Yeah, he's, he's got, got some make tattoos there. That, that's wow. some untasteful yeah. shit mm-hmm. right there. Mm-hmm. Like, it's just giving money, Ninja bro. a run for his money. Yeah. Like, I don't know what that whole, like when he got the, the I don't know, it looked like jizz. Like, <laughs> yeah. To be honest with I you. I think he's got, isn't it Bob Wire across his head? Yeah, but yeah. that's, I mean, called, uh, don't call yeah. me babe. <laughs> I mean, remember Pamela Anderson? Yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. trademarked yeah. the yeah. barbed wire. Yeah, yeah. But um, Classy. anyway, Classy. But let's. We're gonna go into a, um, a little break, and then we'll come back. What we were talking about uh, the new albums, new releases, yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. Cool. We'll see you now. Sweet. All right, we're back <sighs> with two of my best friends in the whole Jesus wide world. I think I said that. <laughs> you're right there, Jared. Smoking out there, dude. Mm. I'm smoking hot. Oh, no, that was me. Sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too much Dude, it's just um, your scallywag, bro. <laughs> yeah, it is. Totally. Halfway through, just want to say, fucking so cool to have you dudes here. Thanks for having me, dude. First time for, for Matt. And, yeah. uh, dude, uh, hundredth we've time got, for me. we're getting this waxed, bro. <laughs> oh, we're yeah. getting this waxed. Um, pull that little sure uh, mic skills. a little sure closer to you, dude. Oh, like that. Um, oh, like okay, that. Okay, so, so then, then we, were, we were talking about New Mixes Day Shell. Um, we were talking about uh, what was the other mention that you that you had? Post Malone. Post Malone. Post Malone. Unfortunately, I, I enjoyed it, but but what I was saying is that that we d- I don't, did we come to a conclusion with regards to that with that camber that candid that he had that he has to his voice. I I think it's um, I mean let's be honest. I don't think there's any pure clean vocals no. that you hear How's anymore that rock ever. Song, dude? But. That's probably I think the only it thing is that natural. I like about that. Yeah. Okay, I'll just speak to you. Sorry, guys no, 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 no. Think. Sorry, like um, that was bad. Do you not no. like that song? No, no. I'm saying oh. no one was listening to. No, no, that no. Song. I, no, I was okay. listening to, but then I was just like, "How was that rock star song?" No, so I think good. in terms of recording, I think that is really his style of singing, and it is that great. But there is no voice in any genre. I don't think that sounds like that, that will yeah. ever. Be no, unprocessed. Sure. So there's yeah. definitely some no, processing. No, no, but I'm, t- I'm just interested to, because if that's how he sounds, that's a God-given talent. No, totally. 
Because it's 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 um across the board in all the songs. Yeah. What does he sound like live? Have you watched any of his live stuff? Is he I have, I have. And? But the only problem is because I I went to see Justin Bieber. Um, <laughs> I won't say that too too loud. So much respect. No, but I I, I, it's I on went podcast to, now, bro. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I went to Ed Sheeran. Like, yeah, I but that's you, very different. Listen, very, very. The different. one thing you need to know about me is I will watch any genre of music as long as it's live music, but or whichever one that your girlfriend takes with, you to. With <laughs> yeah. that, with hey, what's that? What? No, no um, what you anyone you allowed out of the house. See, I don't have headphones <laughs> on. I can't see what you say. I can't hear what you say. Don't worry, they heard what we said. What so, did you so. say? I said no, only no. the ones that your girlfriend takes you to. Yeah, well, you gotta please the lady. You know what I'm saying? I didn't say it was a bad thing. I'm just saying. But <laughs> on both occasions, I thoroughly enjoyed myself. Which one was better? Ed Sheeran by Country Mile. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I mean... So it's yeah. talent versus commercial. No, no. I just think yeah, Bieber's got too many fans, bro. Mm. Dude, and, and they've got uh, fans like... Dude, I'm 35 years old. I was surrounded by teenagers and their mums. And also, I think... Sounds also like saying the saying <laughs> the thing of talent is... Yes, Ed Sheeran is very talented, but... Dude, Bieber I know was also th- good. I know there's going to be some hate, but Justin Bieber, even though I don't like his music, is talented. I mean, Duh. you can't. How do you think you got discovered? Yeah, but sure. I mean, we've had yeah. There's discussions going on all about people with talent and stuff happening at the moment. And tell me, anybody um, right now who says he shit to give me a vocal run like he can do? Yeah, exactly. No, hundred percent. But I guess it's always that you know, it's easy to personal sit on the couch taste. and complain. And, yeah, and, no, you know, it's just, personal taste. And the only problem is, I think a lot of people look at music and they think of it as. Um, like academically yeah right and then you get people who can do it naturally mm. who will run a scale be it vocally it's normally vocally when they're untrained yeah. and stuff where they can run a scale and they don't even know it you know mm. where a guitarist will be able to see that and go wow that's actually what he's doing you know it's like a mm. it's like a scale yeah, yeah and um i don't know i just think there's a reason why people are pushed to be famous. Yeah. And I don't know. I don't know. I just, I'm very amenable to, to new music and I'm amenable to mainstream stuff. I used to go to trance bodies until I was blue mm. in the face, mm. literally. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> or green. I'm sure, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, like I enjoy all types of music. No, I go, yeah. if someone's good at what they do, and the, yes, there are a lot of shit people that are famous that actually aren't good. Yeah. But there's a lot of people, most of the people that are famous are famous because they are good. Yeah. Whether they write their own stuff or not is a different story. That's a whole nother avenue. Yeah. But they can bring it across But it's well. also, it's, it's about entertainment as well. Yeah, exactly. So if you're entertaining 60,000 people, I think you're sure. doing a good job. Yeah, because 60,000 people paid to come see you. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's but at what point do you that. think that they... You know, it's it's talent versus exactly that, that they see that they can mold you into an icon and that it becomes a commercially viable, um, you know, investment to, to put somebody sure. up there versus actually somebody who's really got talent. I mean, there's got to be a certain amount of talent involved you know? and there's got to be a certain amount of like um, bravado in terms of when the person's being interviewed, they need to be well-spoken. Like, you know how they Absolutely. tailor make. Sure, sure. You, you know have, how they tailor tick all the things, boxes. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I, I would go like... <laughs> got to be Australian. I would go with that. It's like, it also comes down to people that are musical in mm. general mm. are going to look at it way more musically than people that aren't musical and just enjoy good music. And people generally will know what good music is and what good music isn't. Uh, Whatever genre. No, it's matter. subjective, dude. Yeah, I, no, I know it's subjective, but I'm saying like, uh, let's that, take genres out of it and just go, people and go, they will hear someone sing and go, oh, that person can sing or can't, generally. Yeah. And then when it gets to like level of stuff on radio or bands that you watch, you can also go, oh, that band wasn't that great or that vocalist wasn't that great. But when it gets to stuff that is that big, on like the let's just though. say like mm. Justin Bieber, Yes, you may not like it or whatever. And yes, maybe he's commercial. And yes, he doesn't 
write a lot of his own songs. And yes, maybe but he's playing 300 shows a yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. But he yeah, is still really good at what he does. And course. there's a reason that, yes, that they've turned him into this commercial thing. And whether he likes it or not. And mm. so it's like we as musicians may go, oh, that's like selling out and lame. But I mean, also, he's still doing what he loves, which is singing and creating music and working with recording and working with producers yeah. and touring and doing what he loves. So yeah. it's, you have to look at it. Both but then sides. I guess you also can't appreciate the, you know, the underground or the, the sort of, yeah, the underground music without that commercial surge that gets pumped out. Yeah. And just, you know, that influx of. I mean, I, I remember the day when you could tune into any radio station at different times of the day. I remember 5 FM where you could yeah. have Barney Simon at night. Yeah. You could listen to rock and yeah. DJs during the day. And it was just, I miss those days of, you know, actually having a bit of a genre choice that you could l listen to versus, you, you turn the radio on now, it's going to be the same song at 10 o'clock. And then it's yeah. going to be 10 o'clock tonight, it's going to be the same playlist. And it's it's frustrating. Yeah, but, but if, again, it's... To be honest, I've been listening to a lot of 5 uh, FM. Mm. And I've been hearing a lot of Matt's song. And because I know the origins and I know, and I, I, dude, it's a great song. Yeah, yeah. It's a flipping good song and it sticks in your head. Eh? I was sitting at my, comp uh, my laptop today. Let me yeah. love you all I want to do. See, but also it's like, it's, I mean, <laughs> the, 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 Shut up, Matthew Mole, yeah. you little biscuit. <laughs> the, the, the gist of all that is also because he's just launched a new album and yeah. obviously they're pushing the music. He's trying to get them to push the music yeah. and, um, and he is commercial. I mean, it's commercial music and it's great. I mean, I know people would say whatever you like or not, but I mean, yeah. I enjoy it obviously because, yeah. um, but it's, it's great music and the radio I agree with Matt. I remember listening to Five FM, and at night it would be, it will go start going into. You your need Barney ED Simon back yeah, on the radio. Like, yeah, we do. EDM yeah, and into like, radio station. yeah, it starts going like heavier and heavier in terms of more dance music. It wouldn't really get into mm. our let's just say metal style because that hardly ever gets played here. We don't have radio stations like that in South Africa. Mm -mm. Um, but. Um, yeah, we don't even have like even the hard dance songs anymore. No. Remember they used to have like rave like hour. And yeah. yeah, exactly. We just don't have that anymore. I don't know why. It's all it? just gone into this one parlor. Yeah, it is. Top it's, it's, it is. Yeah. It is. Top 40. That's the only yeah. top 40 that counts. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's actually, that is true how it's all gone from going from sections in the radio to now it's just one stream of what's the best and yeah. what's yeah. not and what's considered the best and what you what hear on the radio the is best. what's yeah. going to be played in your commercial clubs at night and then yeah, it's going to be exactly. there and then you know this is why we were having the conversation earlier about you know the, the metal scene dying in Cape Town and I mean it's it's sad to, to see you know a scene that was great I mean when I first moved down to Cape Town like we were saying earlier you know it was it was absolutely heaving here with gigs every weekend and things yeah. happening all the time I can't remember the last time I actually went to watch a gig in Cape Town yeah it's but that's Look, also I mean, on the person though as well, because there are a lot of gigs. There yeah. are just gigs, not yeah. as many as yeah. I totally agree. There yeah. were way more. But, but also there's even, a, there's another even thing. Even as a group like, of friends, just yeah, but going we, we out, you also, know, the, the, we've like obviously because we closely knit and stuff, and whenever I'm gonna go to a gig, I'm be like, Oh dude, come to yeah. the gig and all that kind of jazz. I have been this has been the least least active I've been Absolutely. in six years. Absolutely. Mm. Look, I mean, is given that because the you're 35, that, as you mentioned? Yeah, earlier. but oh, also given checking. the fact that that there's a lot of stuff happening behind the scenes. I mean, with Atlantic South, we've got a plethora of a lot of ideas and music and and songs that need to be completed. And same as the ill system, we kind of like we've got like a a, a rolling system where we we release a song at a time, mm. kind of vibe. But we are very seldom playing live shows. But yeah. that's also due to the fact that there's a little bit of a lack of uh, venue availability. There's mm. also the reason why there's a lack of uh, venue av availability is that we're very restric restricted to how many venues we can play because of the music that we do play. Yeah, sure. So there's a hell of a lot of factors that go into it as well as what I mentioned to you earlier when you said you, you, there's a bit of a lull in the scene and there's not as many shows is that everybody's complete co competing to pay the same venue uh, in one weekend mm. because there's only one or two, three venues that are actually capable of or are willing to host that kind of genre music. Mm. And then there's the other factor 
where it's just um Oh, fuck, I've completely lost my train of thought. I thought I was on a roll there, dude. I can pick up on that. <laughs> yeah. Actually, as we were saying that, it's like, um, it, 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 it's a snowball effect. People... Ah, sorry. Uh, Just keep that thought. I will, sorry, I've got I it. Before I forget. It's also because well, a lot me. of bands in the last three years have been extremely active in all, all those places that were available over the last few years who have felt the shock... But they were extremely active, my bands included, sure. where it kind of saturated the market mm. a little bit, where it's like, oh, that band's playing every fucking yeah. weekend. Mm. Where now it's a little bit different, where the bands have to actually work for the for the shows that they put on because they have to pay a venue fee yeah. and they have to pay the bands that they book and all that kind of jazz. And there's a lot more pressure placed on the band. So a lot of the other bands are not doing that because they don't want to take that financial risk. Mm. That's true. So... And also, like, we got into the habit of we only get booked for shows if we get asked to play a show, you know, so we're not putting on our own shows. Sure. And a lot of bands are doing the exactly the same thing where at the end of the day, it becomes like a stalemate Yeah. where you've got bands who've been active for so long, they're wanting to take a break, they're writing and all that kind of stuff. And you've got other bands who have written stuff, but they're not willing to take the risk yeah. of paying a venue a certain fee to come out at a loss, having a great night, having to pay someone. So do you find that happens often though? Oh, that band, happens all the time. You, so I think that's a reason why we've seen this to, current to lull in the scene. And I need to find a... I need I, I need an idea. And I'm going to meet with some people and we're going to chat mm -hmm. and, and I'm going to see how I can at least assist in, in trying to get this media... Because it's also about social media and all that yeah. kind of stuff. Yeah. I have no fucking clue about social media, yet I started a podcast. Yeah. <laughs> you know. But I but that's my little bit trying to give back to the scene because I really believe that we got so many amazing vocalists uh, and bands, not vocalists. I'm thinking vocalists because I've just seen today the Fallen Prophets release their video. Oh wow. And it was fucking great. Shout out to the Fallen Prophets. South African, and it was shot by Keats um, Productions. She was there hanging with us in oh, Joburg. No yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, dude, I'm actually going to end that whole thing on that. Yeah. It was a, it was a mad segue, but, you know, I'm done talking about like the... <laughs> but I the think scene. everybody needs to actually, because there's there's been a little bit of... we were gonna I was going to get to that in the, in the local scene news. Mm. But there's been a little bit of negativity thrown around as well mm. because I think there's a there's a bit of frustration mm. setting in and yeah. people aren't playing shows and they're not being able to play shows. They're not being able to book the bands that they want because they're not active and there's other things happening behind the scenes and there's one venue and there's another way, another venue and all that kind of stuff. Just everybody just be patient. Be patient and don't hate each other online. Mm. Uh, don't get personal because at the end of the day, the only way the small little community is going to come right is by everybody getting together, having the common idea and persevering through the hard times yeah. and getting to a point where everybody can say, hey, fuck, we gave it a good shot. Totally. So I think everybody in the South African or specifically Cape Town metal scene in this instance Message bands, connect. Don't worry about the money. Don't worry about um, the attendance. Just get together. Have Play a powwow. You know, we all have our clicks. We've got our death metal clicks. We've got our metalcore uh, clicks. We've got um, a Hard bunch core, of yeah. clicks, like uh, thrash clicks. Mm. You know, everybody. Just start mixing the genres up. Yeah. Start meeting other people because that's how the, sh uh, the scene's going to grow. Because if the, if the scene doesn't grow, also it's not inspiring younger guys to carry yeah. the shit through mm. you know mm. and i'm going to point out one specific guy who's the youngest guy i know in the scene who's damn cool is matthew cox and uh, yeah. he's he's a good guy and um i need to have a sit down with just him alone and we can have a, a, a discussion about because he he you uh he likes um Throwing shows and all that kind of stuff. He so hasn't done it in he, a while, and, though. And he's it's like young I think, and he's got the energy. Yeah, I mean, he did so much. Um, I mean, maybe I'm oblivious to what he's been doing recently, but I mean, did so much. I don't know if it's just uh, he's been focusing on, like, obviously his other bands and yeah. stuff, but he was doing so many shows and doing so much. 
and I think maybe just the whole element of like places closing well, down that he's, he's playing been like part. Three yeah, yeah. Bands. But um, yeah, totally. Just that means just give it more horns. Sure. Eh? Did you see that? Like, I'm actually my heart's beating now because I'm like, I'm so passionate about it. I'm very protective over this little tiny scene yeah. that we've got, and to see it being ripped apart for no reason, yeah. uh, really like grinds grinds me yeah. a bit. Um, but it's all about positivity and the negativity can be accepted, but within certain reason. Yeah, you know. Everybody needs to work together. Well, yeah. You're going to say something, dude. And on that note, I was just saying, when when last did you actually see a decent international band that came here? What's going on with the bands coming to South Africa? I that's, also think it's it's it's, it's the, just the times. It's just the times. Also, exchange rates and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Like, I mean, we've always had problems yeah. with exchange rate, dude. But who was the last band that you saw, actually? If you, if you from to think from about overseas? It. Yeah, I'm just trying to think. Nova the, Chaos, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and they were wicked. I was going to wear my Nova Chaos, but I'm wearing my... Medal for Africa because that's in the next segment. Nice. Okay. Should we move to the next yeah, segment? That's Holy it. shit, yeah. that was long. <laughs> um, we even might Holy have to shit. cut the segment a bit short. All right, so nostalgia bands. Okay, we can we can cover this quickly. Uh, I would say mine. I've. Um, I would love to go actually back to my main roots, which is punk. Um, I think every time you've asked me this, it's always been this metal band. But I would have to say Lagwagon. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Sick. Yeah, Lagwagon have, I mean, when I say just, I mean, it's been two, three months. I think mm -hmm. they brought out a new album called, I think it's called Rayla. And it is, it's the Lagwagon I remember listening to growing up. It was, it's just fast, hard, Sick. just good old lag wagon i mean the, yeah they went like they went a little bit more chilled i mean it was still lag wagon yeah. all the way through um but like it's yeah it, it when i heard that album i heard they brought it out i listened to it and i was just frothing it was so good <laughs> it was just good old lag wagon like and you look at the picture of them and they're just these bunch of like oh, i mean they actually are old dudes now they must be like in their fifties now, yeah, yeah. they're still rocking it like they were <laughs> nice, like dude. mid twenties. Well, with you too, hey. <laughs> <laughs> just another another <laughs> band like that. They're not. They don't look old in their videos, and they've just come out with a new album. Is Melon Colin? Oh uh, yeah, she so they yeah. still around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. had a proper real big fish. Sweet day the age, other day. Dude. That was dude. epic. That I've was epic. Still every, yeah, all the time, real big fish. Yeah, every time. Real big fish. Real big fish. What's that? It's a ska that, punk band. Yeah, okay. ska punk. It's awesome. From Sweden. No, 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 from America. The States, yeah. Okay, well, I mean... Oh, yeah, Knock on wood, I think they did yeah. that cover. Yeah, that's it's theirs. Dead. And, oh. Um, oh, fuck. How do we even describe? You see, going back to Scott getting Punk, names bro. of songs Just, and yeah. going, guys. Um, real, well, real Big Fish real is big real, fish. real, really good. <laughs> Jeez, don't, don't let me rattle off all the names that have been giving me froth recently. It's like... Mad, go for it. Go for it. Are we going to have like a real big, big fish? fish like We're going to have a definitely, this. definitely, definitely. Less, definitely less, have to. less than Jake. Um, yes. Um, I said Mad Caddies, but you guys were talking so much that no one hears me. Mad Caddies. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, There's Jared playing the victim again. <laughs> um, uh, Pennywise have also saw like a band that is just flipping killer. No effects, I think, are in the process of like writing a new album. I don't know why POD He's, just came up in my mind. Oh, that P no, oh no. dude, can I tell you what? Propagandy. Um, POD Propagandy. just Propagandy. just Ooh. POD just featured on Fire from the Gods new album. Really? Oh, really? Fire yeah. from the Gods is amazing. That yeah. is a flipping. Good well, band, we discussed dude. the new album uh, last week. And oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's cool. It's, it's, it's just it's just not as impactful as the last album. Okay. Sorry, just actually, wanna... just on that topic of a new album yeah. that just is upon a burning body. Oh, dude, that was Southern. What's it? <laughs> Southern hostility. Oh yes, my dude. gosh, bro! That's what I was just. Oh, what is that? A new release? A new it release. came. It came out also a couple of months ago, and oh my, oh gosh. my gosh, that yeah. album. They they uh, had a little dip after red, white, and red, white, red, and green. Red, white, yeah. and red, white, and green. Say it again. Red, white, and green. And one more time. Red, white, white. and green. <laughs> um, they had a little dip after that uh, after that album, and this Dude. album now is just dude. How good is this album? Fire! Man? It it's is so, so good. Yo, 
Do you know it's what? It's so good. I'm still coming down from the as I lay dying. Oh, uh, yeah, but you oh, yeah. That's really cheese, man. I was, I mean, that's what? You still really like five I mean, months ago. We actually, we that's... never spoke about the as I lay dying. No, we we're always against you. Shape of fire. We just never did, yeah. It's like dude, that, uh, that album that's cool. the unspeakable. It's yeah, just like, dude. I mean, for me, that's medical album of the year, maybe. Dude, mm. by far. Shape of fire. Brian Benjamin, this is for you. Cause Bri- who? You, Brian, Brian Benjamin. Yeah. yeah. He's, <laughs> uh, when he, I saw uh, something Brian. today. He something uh, something about Ezele dying. I can't remember what it was, but it was hilarious. I just love <laughs> seeing it was, like, all, it was just like an and uh, like a greater than sign. I just love yeah. seeing all his other artists was. I love seeing all his Ezele dying posts because I'm just yeah. going. There's someone else out there that is just as much of a fan as the I am. The funniest one he did was, but did she die? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but did she? Die? Oh my gosh! Yeah, dude, oh. rough, but. Jeez, one of the best uh, medical albums. To I think come we've out just this year. backtracked again. Back to right the other yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's me. That's me. <laughs> We're hey. nostalgia. Nostalgia. Just yeah. nostalgia. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lagwagon. Jeez. Yeah, jeez, man. I'm just thinking, I'd just go straight Bob Marley. Ooh, okay, have you been right. listening to a bit of Bob yeah, lately? I've been, yeah. to some Bob. I've, been, I've been taking it really you know easy recently. Yet? I've been listening to a lot of house Nothing. music. Oh, you can We're at Papa G's house. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, just Bob Marley's been good. Um, I've really been on the reggae train recently. That's really cool. I think you need to be on the reggae train since you're driving a fucking piece yeah. under your legs, bro. Yeah, I need a ticket. What is that? What is that? <laughs> I was like, you have to clarify yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what is that call piece my of machinery a piece. out here? Um, uh, it's an ER6N. Little 600 go around, little putt-putt to go around it's, the it's, city. It's, it's, it's not that little. It's a little looks like a yeah. Little scooter. Yeah. Yeah. No, it it's looks a little like scooter. a super bike. It's great. It's good. Just nice. be careful, please. Be yeah, I will be. Just I for will. me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, so nostalgia band for you is Bob Marley. Yeah, today. That's a great today one. was a good one. Yeah, that's a great a one. When last did you do a helicopter trip? Um, geez, I actually went flying. I had to do a, a lesson the other day. That was really cool. God, but you had to managed teach to, a lesson. No, I managed to oh. lose some weight and get back into the two seater <laughs> again. Um, I was actually banned. I was too heavy to sit into. <laughs> I was banned from sitting in the two seater. Um, it's quite amazing. We did some engine failures, which is just an epic. Feeling. You showed me a video of you doing an engine failure when the when the yeah. copter just drops, just drops, and then you the have sky. to restart the shit. Well, not restart, but you you're basically using the air to that jump you're falling start. through to to guide you down. You're falling like a leaf, so you you your engine's not giving power anymore. Your blades disconnect from your engine, and oh you're actually using the fact that you're falling through the air to turn your rotors, and you're just controlling, you're just making oh sure that your Minimum RPM is not dropping before, below that um, that green line in the in on the on the engine taco because there's something like a two percent margin that if you go below that you'll drop out of the sky like a stone. So it's it's like a little game of just keeping all the moving parts. And Please sh- never sh- ever do that. No, when no, we're no, in the helicopter. No, no, no. Don't no, ever no, no, mention no. that. To and me. we've been in the helicopter many a times, and I'm just like, <laughs> Please don't yeah. ever do no, any no, of the no. things that you have to practice. No, no, no. no Actually, besides no, no, no. that thing where you do that. Yes, that oh, will yeah, do again. That will do again. That is that we have to do. We'll do that. I've done a few of those recently. That's fun. It's good. Okay, let's take a quick break. Cool. All right, we're back on the home stretch with my favorite people in the world, Jared Ronnenberg and That's Matt me. Holly. That's you. <laughs> That's, are you Jared Ronnenberg? Well, who knows? <laughs> I'll be Scallywag any day. You can yeah. be Granny Oh, Jay. yes. Listen, oh, yeah. actually, before we go on, mm. before we go on, um, we tell have, us about Scallywag too. We should have dude. a bottle just to Oh, go yeah. Back. Jeez. This is the worst promo ever. Mm. Well, we um, have promoed you on this podcast before. I saw you did. Thank you so much. Yeah. Scallywag Chili is my brother and my uh, little brainchild. Uh, if you haven't tried it, you can get it at Giovanni's. It's really good. Uh, we've got a smoky and a plain flavor. Very Ooh, good. Goes so well good. with everything. Eggs, small children. I'm going to put a photo everything. up right now. <laughs> I'll put a photo up right now. Perfect. Okay. Done. Sick. Done. Good. Um, yeah, cool. just locally made. We're trying to get into the markets. Um, very small little business. Uh, nice. Trying to do a little bit of jack of all trades thing going For on sure. here. But yeah. sure. Because I know we you also know that you're a mad interior designer as well. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you think so. Yeah. Well, he's, not wow. that, he's not that <laughs> mad. No, I'm not that uh, mad. Just not oh, mad. Actually, uh, yeah, yeah, no. Dude, what are you yeah. saying? He is mad. Of course he's we, mad. Yeah. 
No, it's do they like have to hard, only hard, get it at Giovanni's or can they actually contact you? No, you can contact me. Um, we've got a website. Well, we don't actually have a website. We've got uh, Instagram. Facebook. We've got Facebook. Uh, you can DM. Con- you slide can, into those DMs. Yeah, you can dude. slide onto the DM or scallywagchili at gmail.com. Oh, there it is. And uh, yeah, we can br- deliver you some bottles or you can is come your special them on. Yeah, unfortunately, we, we the special is over, but I'm sure we'll run them again and so you will be the first to know. It's Black and Friday. You, it's Black Friday is bottle? Soon, eh? 70 rand a bottle, uh, 200 mils, doesn't last long enough, but uh, we look well, at it. Well, um, there's a reason for that, yeah, because and it's fucking delicious. Yeah, it's what about the Black Friday <sighs> prices? No uh, Black Friday prices, no, 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 prices, no, no, no. bro. It's craft It's shit. Black Friday prices, 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 every prices. day at Scallywag. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah, yeah. It's handmade, yeah. No, dude. It it's handmade. is. It's good. It's definitely, mm. definitely worth a buy. I'm yeah, punting it, but I'm And make it's it, not only it. because he's sitting right here. It is literally, if he wasn't mm. sitting here and he wasn't a mate, I would still go. And I wouldn't be sitting with an entire cupboard full of empty Scallywag bottles. Yeah. Hundreds. Because I mean, I you guys are my biggest fans. Oh, my God. All that chili sauce, mm. dude. Yeah. And for everyone, it's such a delicious uh, chili sauce. It's It's... The smoky one threw me for a fucking... Yeah, that's, ball, geez, that's a good one. Eh? I'm addicted um, to that stuff as well, but I think you know yeah. when the person who makes it loves it, I guess that's a good sign. But your, your secret recipe, bro, mm. it's just so good. Is it so, love? It is love. Oh, it yes. is love. It is so love. contact Scallywag if you want to test out some of that. And you know do. what it is? You know, I'm, I'm saying a sentence and then going straight into the next one. Check out Scallywag Chili on Instagram, Facebook. Email them if you need. But and then give it a try. It's also made with death metal. It is made with death metal. It is. It Explain is. that, bro. Oh, it's just a thing. We we have to headbang and play a death metal track every every time we make the sauce. <laughs> it's the best. Um, it is happening every time. So every time you eat it, just imagine me shaking my head around and smashing some death and metal. And let's just be background. clear. It actually says that on the bottle. Yes. It is. It is one of the prime <laughs> ingredients, I think, that make it taste so good. And, of course, the love. But we can't put that on the bottle. <laughs> you can or put death bottle. metal on the bottle. You can put it bottle. in the bottle, but you can't, you can't put, put it on the... Yeah, you can't put love. <laughs> love doesn't Ooh, sell, bro. Jeez, that's a T-shirt in the <laughs> making, <laughs> yeah. son. That is um, a great t-shirt. I'll that is a that great t-shirt, t-shirt right there, yeah. dude. Actually, you know what? Another thing I, that I was love thinking in my of, bottle. <laughs> it, I was thinking of doing some Papa G's merch. Okay. Yeah. You know, I think that that uh, logo is pretty cool to put in a. I'm still waiting for that logo that people need to see that was greatly gifted to you, that was painted so beautifully. That needs to be put up somewhere. To it's going to be put up there. Yeah. yeah. No, no, totally. I'm going to reveal it uh, when the time is right. Sorry, I mean, cut that out. No, pop, no, no. <laughs> Let's not cut that out. Um, my girlfriend Demi's mum is an artist. And she obviously knows how much Papa G's house means to me. And she went and painted the most epic Papa it's G's so logo have you not seen it? I haven't it? seen it yet. You must show me Dude, that. it's so cool. So cool. I want to see. Um, I want to see it's Papa G. literally stroke by stroke identical to my logo. Awesome. But with hand painting. What? Do just you think, think it was I... screen printed onto a canvas? And Dude, it was just like exactly. It looks, awesome. like, it's, exactly it looks like, like it's awesome, been awesome, printed awesome. onto yeah. a canvas. Awesome. So it's what beautiful. I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be wrapping it on a board and putting it in a frame. Demi was like, you can either put it on a, wrap it on a canvas. And I was like, no. I need that thing to be preserved. It needs to be behind yeah. glass. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, dude, it's beautiful. I'll show you just cool. after this. Show me. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's go carry on with the lisp because we are having great conversations Way too much tonight, fancies. dude. Yeah. With the lisp. Um, <laughs> so we've done yes. the nostalgia bands. Basically, also just a quick on top of nostalgia bands. Got to throw that one in. Rise Against. What's rise that? Against, dude. I've been Rise Against. You've been smashing it, Fuck, uh, Rise Against. I saw them at... Um, Ramfest when they played with uh, oh. Bring Me The Run. Oh, what a jaw. What a jaw. That, that was, a, was such an epic That was, it was, show, that was a proper show. It was show. really good. Do you know what? Actually, I was coming off a whirlwind of a podcast with uh, the guys from Metallica tribute show. Talking about Will Bring Me The Rise. Whirlwind and, yeah. podcast. Like, I had to work for that. <laughs> for yeah. some answers there, dude. My hair was even swept back. It was so much of a whirlwind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it was, uh, no, it was a, a fun episode, but... Um, Yo, dude. Uh, what was I going to say? Um, shit, I completely... Why am I always losing my train of th- thought tonight? Because you keep jumping onto new things, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm looking at screens at the same time as... 
thinking and talking. He's but always on his phone. Being a live thing is so no, difficult. No, I'm coming off a whirlwind of a podcast. That was the whole uh, segue. Um, I, I, I've lost it. I've lost it. Anyway. Oh, no. So, oh, oh, yes. <laughs> yes. What I wanted to <laughs> talk about <laughs> is, is oh, that... Oh, um, no. La, um, Chris Adler's been touring India and whatnot, and he's Let's been see doing, that, doing his like clinics and stuff. But playing with full bands, doing yeah. Lamb of God and Megadeth shows. Yeah, so That's I think he was do- crazy, he was doing yeah. it was clinics that he was just playing. I think yeah, drum clinics and playing with full bands, just playing every type of genre that he's played with. It was his crazy, own sort of stuff. Megadeth. Did Lamb you see of God. the Regnick video? Holy shit! No. I haven't also actually. Chris I haven't seen any videos of Chris only Adler. I know who that is. You do know. Yeah, yeah, you see, oh, yeah I do yeah, know. Yeah, that. yeah, That's yeah. one of the guys. <laughs> I thought okay. you were actually yeah, asking. Throw that in. Okay, so uh, new bands. I, I don't know of any new bands at the moment. Mm-hmm. Not we, new bands from from what I w- uh, in the last yeah. couple of weeks that that we've seen each other. Yeah. Um, you any no. any new bands? No, I've been as I said earlier. I've just been going down the the, the house train. And I'm loving it. Speaking of a new band that we'd actually discussed previously, it was about three. Because yes, yeah, so you've been on a lot now, eh? Oh yeah. Um, about three episodes ago with you and I, unprocessed, <sighs> dude. That guitarist, dude. That guy is Manuel Gardner, yeah. whatever his name is. Follow him on dude, Instagram because he, you'll be blown away. He's been on Instagram for a year. Is he the uh, South American guy? Yeah, dude. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he's definitely dude, he's so, so he's good. something. Uh, yeah, I don't know what nationality he is. I mean, they, he's they're Spanish, g- dude. Oh, he's Spanish. Yeah, he's Mexican. But, yeah, they're they a German band. No, okay, wait. So he's <laughs> German. Did you hear what I said? He's Spanish, dude. No, he's Mexican. He's, yeah. he's Mexican. He's Mexican. Uh, is he? Yeah. Okay, but German though, because they're from Germany. Manuel Gardner Fernandez. Oh, okay, dude, this guy. I, I don't think this, anyone's seen he's got someone play guitar that. like that before. With his with his right Dude. hand. He's it's insane. insane. He is. How does he like, compare to that guy? Remember the Ernie Ball promo? Jason Richardson. Is that Jason oh, Richardson? Oh, no. Very, very, very yeah. different. Oh, uh, very what different he's talking style. about is uh, 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 vitalism. Yes, vitalism. Bopolarity or something. Uh, Bopolarity, yeah. there we go. Yeah, he yeah. was doing the vitalism music man yeah, yeah. seven string promo. That's... It's still very different. It's like, dude, this guy's got like. If, so that was super genty. He does like flamenco or? kind of like. Dude, he's Spanish. Yeah, flamenco metal. <laughs> it is insane. But have you seen him with the yeah, acoustic? Dude. dude, he's insane. He's incredible. He's incredible. Definitely go. Check oh my out. god, list okay, to watch. So, list to watch. So check out Manuel Gardner Fernandez if you want to. Uh, uh, Brian Binneman actually sh- uh, shared one of his videos. Yeah, yeah. The other day. He was like, "I've it's the most yeah insane thing I've ever seen on a guitar." If you want your mind blown and you play guitar, so or if you're guitar. a musician, uh, no, electric, yeah. oh, oh, electric. And acoustic. Oh yeah, and flamenco, both. amazing, cool. Seven string, eight string, six string. He just kills it all. Okay, local and international gigs. Um. I actually saw now recently, which is flipping mind blowing, that um, Iron Maiden are doing a huge tour, and their support act is Kill Switch Engage, which love it. is I love it. Well, Iron c- Maiden, yeah. That's I super was strong. when I read that, I was like, "What?" That? But I mean, that is so amazing that Kill Switch were asked to go and do a tour An Iron supporting Maiden. Iron Maiden. That is insane. That just seems so. Out, I know no, it, it, it seems, seems, so it seems weird, but it works. I mean, it's yeah, dude, but that is so oh, wait, epic wait, for wait. Them. I actually read an article the other day with Adam D where he was like, it's super rough to go out on a tour with you know a band like Iron Maiden, where that was metal back in the day, yeah, yeah. And now you're playing this, yeah, where it's completely different. Where, um, in the article, he was like. Dude, some of these fans are hard to deal with yeah, because no. they don't want to watch us. They yeah. want to wait for Iron Man. No, exactly. So it's difficult for them, yeah, I suppose. So difficult for Kill Switch. Yeah, yeah because dude. you yeah, got people be, that yeah. are just there to see Iron mm. Maiden. Touring with Iron Maiden, son. Yeah. I mean, I remember speaking to the guys from Lithium because they opened up for Iron Maiden when they came here in 95. Mm. And um, uh, we all know the new guitarist now, Kevin, who you had the other day. Yeah. Um, but the Woo. old older guitarist, 
um, who Kevin Drummer. took his place, was <laughs> I, I spoke to him and I was like, dude, what was it like opening up for Iron Maiden? He was like, it was insane. But And I was like, yeah, but obviously you're chilling with him. Was He's like, yeah. Jasper Dan? No, it was, um, who are you talking about? The for guitarist. No, it was Lithium. No, I'm did talking about in 95. Iron Maiden Lithium were here. Yeah, them? Lithium opened oh, wow, up for Iron Maiden in 95. And I spoke to him. This was Ian Watson. Um, and he said, dude, we sat at a table with him eating food and stuff like pre-shows and after shows. And he's like, but you don't really get to chill with him. It's like, at this big, you, you're there with him, but you're not there with them. Yeah. You're not, you're on tour with them, but you're not on tour with them. But he said, I mean, still opening up for them was just insane. Sick. So, I mean, we had. Well, I can imagine. Yeah. I've I mean, got my Iron Maiden cap. I wore it that the last yeah, yeah. episode. Super yeah. Bands. You, so we, you and I went and saw Iron Maiden together. Did. Yeah, well, I forced cool. you to come and then you were like, oh, oh, I didn't force you. But I was like, come, dude, let's go. And you're like, I, okay. I remember you convincing yes, me to go because I wasn't forcing. keen to convincing, go. Convincing. And, and so then, you're not wrong. But you're not wrong. then after that, you're like, dude, I can't believe I was even doubting going. Yeah, no, 100%. Mm. I, I left the fan. Yeah. And I left yeah. with merch. Yeah. Which <laughs> seems to be something that I do very often these days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If there's a yeah. t-shirt, I'm leaving with yeah, it, baby. Yeah. And the only reason I you didn't leave with the t-shirt because I think they're all sold out. The only thing yeah. that was left was caps. No, but those caps were both. Yeah, yeah no, dude, those. They had Eddie on the, dude, that on cap the bottom. Dude, that so insane. On the bottom of the peak. There it is there. I can see yeah, it right yeah, now. It's it peeking is, out yeah. at me. Eddie is so. peeking out. <laughs> oh. Okay. And then another one that I really wanted to chat about today is... You know, we're talking about local international yeah. things. I wanted to mention Motley Crue's coming back. But let, yeah, let's put that I on know, us. Yeah. Because what's more important is... Medal for Africa. When? Medal for Africa Summerfest. Hey. February 2nd, 2020. And um, can you believe it? That's going to be rolling into like the 13th or 14th Dude, year. That's so and, crazy. Um, I couldn't be more proud of Patrick, Patrick Davidson. Yeah. And He's done so well. You know, all the people who are the, the moving parts yeah. in, in, in Metal for Africa. And I've actually been chatting to um, Vessel from... Please forgive me, dude. I know you listen to the podcast. I don't know if it's Holo or Hollow. So just let me know. I, I wanted to ask you, but I thought we were going to be chatting together uh, a little sooner than this podcast. But Well, I heard... I heard um, what's his name? Um... Uh, pajama planets. Uh, Mark. Mark, yeah, Mark. All night was like going because they just did a Qatar challenge, and mm. he said holo. Actually, no, I can't remember. Yeah, if it was I'm, holo. I'm okay, whatever. Those, I'm one of those guys who I'm very pedantic about yeah, how I, I pronounce things, yeah. and I'm not going to pronounce uh, someone's name incorrectly. No, totally. So I don't currently know, but Vessel, you can let me know. Remy, you can let me know. Um, those are the two dudes I kind of know at, uh, at... Any idea of lineup yet? Well, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, Holo was just were hold, the first... Hold on, bro. Jeez, just hold on. You guys, come calm on. Down. Yeah, Holo were the first uh, guys uh, announced. Cool. I've played uh, at least five shows with him in the past. Uh, Josh, one of Josh Grady's favorite Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Jo remember yeah. Josh? He's like, oh, Holo, yeah. Holo. Yeah. I need to get this right. It's, okay, I'm going to take it as Holo for now because it's 1L. Yeah. Um, but he always used to swear by these yeah. dudes. And I remember him going crazy. When I saw them live, I really, really thoroughly enjoyed it. And since then, actually, um, Vessel's been listening to the podcast and he messaged me and he's like, hey, dude, I see you're a UFC head. <laughs> um, there's a new uh, gym opened up in Claremont. Let's go check it out. Dude, I'm totally in for that. Um, I just can't move right <laughs> now. I've been trying to get back into training and stuff like that, and I am suffering Jeez. like you cannot believe. <sighs> I did a 5K run yesterday. Yay for me. <laughs> um, but Holo are, are the first band um, released. That were announced, yeah. Or announced, yeah. yeah. Then High Wraith, um, Mike Pocock nice. from Brochella has spoken very highly oh, yeah, of these yeah. guys. So, um, and they're a bit proggy uh, uh, as far as I can understand. Never seen him. Looking forward to seeing him. I'm going to be there. I'm going to try and see if maybe you and I can go and do like a Papa G on the road kind of Yeah, thing. that would be so epic. We can like just do a quick little like, interview. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you on one side. Yeah, me on bro. The other. It'll be sick. Like have a little booth. We yeah. Can be, possibly Patrick. be there. 
Okay, so I've spoken. Fun. I spoke to Patrick about it uh, at the about the last thing, and yeah. it just didn't work out because I didn't have all my yeah. equipment and all that kind of stuff. So maybe you and I yeah. can take Papa G's house on the road and epic. go do that. And you guys aren't playing this year. No, 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 not no. Hey, man. Um, it's fine. It's go go lineup. be there to like yeah, enjoy yeah. other O's. Yeah, hundred percent. I, I like you know. Also, um, I've played the last three. M4As in a row with Il System and Lennox out. That's just how mm, it's like kind of yeah. worked out. And it's going to be super cool to just go to this one as a fan and, and not stress about it. having to play later. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This this is another one that I've been very, very stoked with is uh, Behest. Mm. If you want to hear some stanky rhythms and some <laughs> stanky notes, um, Nick Ricks and his guys. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, think yeah it's nick ricks and uh he was a part of our like situation for a while beautiful uh guy really really nice guy but um cape town guys yeah super um intelligent and and loves his stanky kind of like Mm. converge uh kind of hardcore sounding stuff and they they're really heavy dude then overthrust from Botswana. Oh, sick. I was just about to say, is there any... I was going to say international by mistake, but there we go. Yeah, but high ref, yeah. Joe Big. Yeah, yeah. Oh, overthrust, okay, there we go, Botswana. Yeah. I think they're going Joburg's all out for this one, China. dude. Going yeah. all out. China. And then, um, yeah, so they've, they've done 2013. So they're back 2019. Oh, so sick. there's been a six-year gap. And then Treehouse Burning. Yeah, yeah. Good you know, old They're boys. just killing yeah. the scene at the dude, moment. With they're their, doing so well. Their elect- electronic breakdown metal core kind of death core mm. sound love those guys we've had them on the podcast such mm. such cool dudes um keen to watch them they've always got something sneaky up their sleeve they'll always Last and they'll promote it so Astley. much as well. uh they have some like ninja turtle shit mm. every now and again <laughs> like i look forward to seeing them um then la cobra that's the one band i have absolutely no knowledge of and they're from pretoria so there's three. Oh, cool sure. joe big pretoria and botswana Amazing. so la cobra i'm gonna look up um in the next week so when we get to the next podcast i'll know exactly well, yeah. what i'm talking about and hopefully maybe if they're in town that we can chat to them but i'm already talking to holo we, we're gonna we're gonna chat raksha i mean uh nathan's basically Dude. a part of um, the medal for Africa team. His so he might come with Patrick when I chat to Patrick because we're chatting to Patrick. His face paints at that Halloween show. Jeez, Whoa, yeah, dude, it was insane. incredible. The it was whole incredible. Sk- that was the half off, eh? That just yeah. no, the no, 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 no. Uh, yes, I mean, every show there's something. Yeah, but yeah. this past Halloween show, oh, really? he painted his face as a skeleton. Mm-hmm. It was <laughs> insane. It was insane. Really? I, I think yeah? he, he gets an actual makeup artist How to do quickly it. has his hair grown? Dude, yeah. I mean, dude, it's been a year though. Well, dude, I haven't seen that guy in quite some yeah. time. But the last time I saw him, he had short hair. Yeah. And I was like, what is this? He how shaved long- half his head and his beard for that show at yes. Middle for Africa. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. No. That's when, yeah, yeah. That, that was the first time they played. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that may have been even been their first show. Yeah. Jeez. But anyway, and then the Almighty. And I'm so glad that they've decided to. To come back and play the show's Mind Assault. Oh, sick. Yes. Yes, please. Yeah. Mm. I can't wait to see Mind Assault there. You know, Just along with Patrick years, come yeah. with the legacy yeah. of the scene. And, I, you know, they've got the whole Afrikaans metal yeah. kind of thing down. And uh, I'm very excited to see, to see Mind Assault. So that's your... Metal for Africa it's great lineup, yeah. lineup. Just so empty to pit yeah. it again. Yeah, dude. Jeez, man. It's You're going to come while. to this one, right? Definitely. Okay, definitely. So, um, yeah, because uh, we may need some hands on deck if we're going to take this on the road, baby. Mm hmm. I'm rolling, my man. You know, and, and uh-huh. I think uh-huh. we're going to have to be like a team of four. It's going to be you, you, myself, and Rick Shields. Oh, yeah. I Done. think that'll be a perfect team to, to oh, get yeah. this thing going and just at least get a decent I'll video the of, of the summer fest. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. pretty. Okay. Oh, so moving on swiftly because geez, how fast is this bloody podcast Jeez. going, dude? All the cock prat, It's yeah. just nats, 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 nats. Local bands, local scene news, sports news. Okay. You know what? I think we can skip the sports news. I think there's news. nothing. I, we can skip current yeah. events. There's nothing 
I've, I've had a great time with yeah. you guys tonight. Mm. It's been epic. Awesome. I mean, how fast is the time going? I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Was that can't an hour already? How? Oh, it's, yeah, but how? just over an hour. Can't yeah. even how believe even? it. How even? Dudes, this is going to happen again. It is going to happen Keen. again. It's going to... Oh, stretchy. I can't stretch. I can't... Yes, I can't stretch the gap. my arms because... Bridge the gap. We also, update number. on the fitness <laughs> challenge. I'm getting there. I had a little bit of a slip last week. Well, there um, we go. Sports news. There we go. Jeez, yeah, yeah, the there, gym. There's the sports news. I had a little bit of a slip last week. I didn't go as many times as I wanted to. But, it's fine. damn, I'm sore today. I've taken the first rest day of the week. And, oh, my goodness. My goal I'm for 2020, I want to be as unfit as possible. <laughs> oh, really? Unfittest I've ever been Bullshit. in my life. Shit. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, because then you can't fly man. helicopters because you're going to yeah. be too heavy. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I eat myself into a chair. Okay. It's trending in America right now. <laughs> <laughs> so they All say. All right. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Guys. Um, you. That's Jared Ronneberg, Jared's World, Granny J, J Rad, All that's of Matt Holly, Matthias, Scalliwag, Merci, Matoli. 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 Those Papa are my G. favorite. Eh? Papa G. Papa G. <laughs> Those are my favorite people in the world. This is Papa G's house. Till then, we say peace. Bye. Yeah, that's where we're going.